I went through the what I studied. For example, if I was studying medicine, my perception of viewing things would be totally different. I studied psychology, my view is totally different. Anybody who's in engineering, their perception would be totally different. What? Why else? So we've got education, culture, personality, experiences, as well as age, right? Experience and age. Of course. Are you saying I'm old? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, age. With every decade also our perception changes. Imagine yourself 15 years ago. The way you see things today is totally different than how we saw them earlier, right? And one more is your immediate family upbringing as well. Our own family values. So each and everything has an impact on perception. So imagine perception as an invisible glass. Let me take these glasses. Imagine this is perception. So in my perception, it's an invisible glass I'm carrying with me all the time. But because it's always there, I don't know that what all is in there. My experience goes in here. My education, my psychology lens from what I see things. My experiences with uh, maybe some nationalities or with people, they, put, they come in my perception as well. For example, <clears throat> I had a conflict in my previous job, for example, with, with a Pakistani. Let's imagine I'm not Pakistani. But I had an, uh, a bad experience with another Pakistani. So I, whenever I talk to Pakistanis, I'm going to think that is going to be in my perception from the experiences. Am I right in thinking that all Pakistanis would be like my that uh, experience? No, right? But the funny part is I cannot see it because it is in this invisible glass. So whatever comes from the world to me, to my mind, passes through this invisible glass. And whatever I say to the world also passes through this. So all our thoughts are revolved around my perception. For example, my job, oh, I have the worst job in the world, is my perception. Or <clears throat> my manager is the worst, again my perception. If that other glass of my colleague, he might have a totally different perception, right? So these are everything, every thought in our mind is through this invisible glass. Another question. I perceive the world through my five senses. Yes? That's how I know what the world is because my brain is inside my head. It cannot see outside. It is dependent on my five senses. True? What are those five senses? Hearing. Hearing. Tasting. Taste. Smell. Smell. Skin. Touch. Skin. And Skin. sight. Now please, share with me. Do my five senses give me the true picture of reality as it is? No. What we believe, what we see, we believe, right? What I see, I think that's reality. What I hear actually is reality, but just like this filter, my eyes have the filter, my ears have the filter. For example, I recommend a very good Indian restaurant to my friend. And uh, she's from Philippines. And I said, Go have the food, it's amazing. She goes and she doesn't like the food. Why? Because her filters are different than my filters. I like spicy food, so I'm going to recommend that. Somebody who does not, right? So our five senses do not give us the true picture of reality. We all have our own perceptions, our own reality. I'll give you a bombshell of uh, a statement. In this world, currently, there are seven and a half billion words out there for people. Because we all carry our world with us. But we do not realize it. Just to demonstrate this point, that we have differences in, in perception, you have some handouts, guys. So if I could request you to please open up page three. Open up page three, please. And there is a picture of a woman. Discuss it with the person sitting next to you. What do you see in this picture? 
Is it an old woman? Is it a young woman? What do you see, please? Discuss it with your partner and share your perception. Just the top picture first. This view, man. Amazing. We should be swimming on the beach right now, right? Cool. It's a nice training room. Hi. Yeah. This is this is Facebook Live. Say hi. hi. <laughs> All right. Good deal. Everybody's saying thumbs up to you guys now. Yeah. Good. Did you find it? We got both. Hello. Okay. If you if you can't see on the paper here, try to see the young and the old in this picture as well. Can you see both of them here? Yeah. Can you see both of them here? Look at what my daughter is saying. She's saying old and young. <laughs> so a question. When you see the picture for the first time, what comes to your mind? The young lady or the old lady? Yeah. Were you young? So this also tells you you see what you want to see. What lady? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So when you see the picture for the first time, what comes to your mind? Young lady or old lady? Yeah. Young? Yeah? I hey, want you hold this. There you go. Uh -huh. <laughs> there is just one thing if you... Who got old? I got old. Uh, and a lot of people uh, there as well, they saw old. I got old. The next day, a little bit, then I got Tell us more about your behavior. Hey, do it and detail it. So, yeah. Then I got the So, some people saw... Some people said young lady first, some people said old lady first. Who's right and who's wrong? Both. 
Both right. No, the ones who go the young ones. Because these are the young ones. They are young at heart. The other ones are the young girl. No, so, so, so this, this is what actually explains the differences in, 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 in perception, the way we perceive things. So everybody has a right to see what they see differently. So we cannot judge that he's right and I'm right, or he's wrong and I'm right. So this is actually judgments that we all have. Because we never know what angle other people are looking at things from. Sometimes we don't see the angles, but other people see the angles. Sometimes we see the angles, but other people don't see the angles. But everybody has a right to see what they see. With proper communication and coordination, with proper communication and coordination, and respect of other people's opinions, we can actually have more uh, mutual consent on agreements on our like, you know, problems that we are facing with. But problem is that we have small little judgmental minds. As soon as we see somebody else with a difference of opinion, we think this other person is crazy. And because we are in a gossipy culture, we start talking to people, you know, this guy crazy man, Indians, you know. And he's saying, oh, Pakistanis, you know. Yeah? So, <laughs> by the way, yeah, nationality is one of the first things that people actually attack on without even realizing anything. We all do that unconsciously. And this is also something that we have to unlearn. We have to start respecting people not because of their nationalities, but because of their, indi their individuality. Because everybody is a very unique individual. Right? So we have to look beyond this too. So yeah, so perception is is what we what we see and how, how to have an open mind towards seeing things differently. Never become too judgmental about one thing because you might change your mind. Uh, a research tells us that 70% of the decisions we take turn out to be wrong decisions in the long term. This means what we consider right today might not be right <laughs> after some time. So imagine, ask yourself, is your belief system, your thinking, the same as what it was 10 years ago, or, or has it changed? It's changed. It's changed? Yes, sir. And 10 years later, <laughs> do you think it will be the same, or it will still change? It will change? Of course it will change. So never have any fixed ideas or judgments about anything, because you never know as to how you're going to be looking at things from a different angle altogether. So it's a good thing to start with, whenever you start, if you're voicing an opinion to anybody, it's a good idea to say, I could be wrong, but this is what I think. Because you could be wrong. And I could be wrong when I'm saying this also, yeah? So yeah, so having that flexibility in your communication is an important aspect. But people say, okay, no, no, I'm right and you're wrong, and that, that's the wrong kind of a thing. So that takes away that team spirit, that takes away that communication also. What are mindsets, guys? Yeah. What's a mindset? What's a mindset? Think about the word.